Hello and welcome to this lecture. So let's now continue with the second troubleshooting scenario. And specifically in this case, I will break the Isaac Amp SA. And let's go now. So first, before breaking it, you can see that both of them are working. So, yep, this is uh, from the VPCS one. So pinging the, the VPCS in the ASA uh, branch. And the second one, it's pinging from the branch 40 gate going to the headquarter 40 gate. So we see that both are working. Now let's go and again, let's say admin. And I will break now what? Let's choose somehow together. So edit. And authentication, we have tested it. So the phase one proposal, I will click edit. And let's say we have authentication MD5. So OK. And let's see. Now I say bring down. Yes. And I'll try to bring it up, but it's not working because authentication is not the same. Good. So now let's concentrate on the debugs. So I will take again the debugs. So again, start the debug for application Ike and enable it, enable the debug and I will restart the whole Ike process so that we can see the negotiation. We will see two things like uh, in the previous uh, lecture, one is going to be successful for the branch 40 gate and uh, for the ASA, it will not work, it will be broken. So here it is. Perfect. Now let's stop it. And yep. Now let's navigate to the beginning. And here it is. Yes. So let's see for branch one and branch two. Branch one. So I will use this one. For branch one, initiator main mode, get first response. I'm seeing here negotiation result for the proposal. Lifetime, I should see now the, the authentication is successful. So let's see where is that. Perfect for branch one. Peer identifier is this. Authentication is okay. Established IKSA. Perfect. Now we move on to branch two. So branch two. Let's see the message. So here it is. Branch two sent an Ike message from ourselves to the uh, to the SA, and here it is. Ignoring unsupported informational message. Pretty self-explanatory, huh? No, it's not. So if you didn't uh, or haven't seen this message, uh, uh, I don't know before. I'm pretty much sure that you wouldn't guess exactly what this message is about. So ignoring unsupported informational message. That's not so self-explanatory, right? So let's just start again. I want to see some more logs like this. I stopped it very, very, uh, very, very fast. So here is ignoring, uh, ignoring unsupported informational message again for branch two branch two again here and guess what this message will not change just repeat ignoring for branch two ignoring unsupported informational message ignoring unsupported informational message and again send ike message retransmit for phase one p1 means phase one this is us and the asa again ignoring uh, unsupported informational message so yeah, I know uh, it's not that obvious. So that's why I'm um, I'm also recording this this uh, troubleshooting scenarios, so that you will be well prepared when you encounter such a problem. So you will see that the last troubleshooting scenario regarding phase two, so the IPsec negotiation, it's more human. It's uh, kind of readable, but the first two are um, are not. So I believe that you agree with me. So I will take this message and paste it here as well. And here are the two. 
So for the uh, pressure key mismatch, ignoring unencrypted payload malformed from this uh, IP address from the SA, and for SA proposal proposal that do not match, ignoring unsupported informational message. Wow. Anyway, so now let's uh, let's have it working before moving to to the next lecture. So let's go to the VPN and IPsec tunnels. So edit the branch two. We will go to the phase one proposal and get back to SHA-1. Just accept the configuration and hit OK. We should see again that the communication between the LAN user in the headquarter, it's fine, it's working with the LAN user in the, in the SA branch. And here it is. So the ping is successful. We're happy, happy. Problem solved. So see you in the next lecture. Thanks a lot.